and in which, for example, drug users were present and had their own work, work and, and, and talked about their own reality. And there was a third thing that happened, which was important. There was found a sort of new sector of work, not for a very big amount, but for a reasonable amount of ex-prisoners who could not find another type of work and who were now have, having an activity in informing all sectors in society, like the schools, uh, but also other sectors, uh, about what was the reality of prison and what was the reality of criminal justice. And that was a sort of, of activity uh, which, if you saw how those people were changing uh, when they had such an official role, also people who were in the, in, uh, defined as, as psychiatric type of, of persons who could not be, who could not be changed. They, they changed uh, in being respected uh, and having such sort of role. So there was a whole uh, set of those aspects. And then at a certain moment, and all those things happened uh, without having a policy of the state with respect this. Uh, there, there were parliamentarians uh, who were part of this thing, uh, but there was not uh, still such a general plan. And I know that I have to, not to be too long now, because you so I will shorten it a little bit. Every minute of yours is welcome. Uh, no, but, I mean, uh, so, I, I mean, what, what happened then uh, was that at a certain moment, uh, the, 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 one of the things was also that there was created, uh, under influence of the students, uh, a very active uh, uh, society for the reform of criminal justice. And in that society, many of the people, the academic people and so, were working together. And every year before the budget, of the Minister of Justice was dealt in Parliament. Uh, there had been a few months before uh, such a report, uh, a booklet, uh, about everything what had happened before uh, and which was material uh, which was there uh, for the parliamentarians. And then at a certain moment uh, the Parliament wanted also uh, that we were already at 80 persons uh, only in prison on the 100,000, but then the parliament uh, took the decision uh, that the prison amount of prisoners should be still more diminished. And since that became a plan uh, of the government and of the parliament, uh, after that the prison population started to raise. <laughs> and that was a prayer. Uh, yeah. And in the beginning, not much, but, but they took some wrong decisions. On the, there was a wrong decision on, on criminalizing, in a different way, the use of alcohol with driving, and that was the first wrong decision. And then you got all the terrorist decisions. And terrorist from that time is the planes and so on. And, 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 and then things started to, to raise. And then, uh, ten years later, uh, ten years later, 50, yeah, 10, 85, then things started to, to, to change. Really. Yeah, and then we got that complete rise. But so, what looks to me as an important lesson, that is to try to find a way to to make something move in civil society and that be that civil society organizations uh, uh, an intermediary uh, in influencing the state and influencing public opinion. Thank you.